our honorable dignitaries are welcomed by the band team from Jain College and the NCC cadets from Tamil Nadu Physical Education and Sports University marching towards the stage. A warm welcome is extended to all the dignitaries. Let us all give a big round of applause to our chief guest. We will receive a shawl from Honorable Vice Chancellor Dr. M. Sundar. I also request our Honorable Vice Chancellor to present a shawl and bouquet to through A.R. Raghunath IAS District Collector, Chengalpur District. Inspector District Collector, respected Vice Chancellor of the University, respected Registrar, respected Observer, esteemed sports persons including Arjun Awardees who are sitting on the dais, the members of the faculty, the organizing committee, and all the students of various universities which have come from 25 states of India. I would first of all like to welcome you to the venue. This university which was started in 2004 has come a long way. It was the first sports university in the state sector. And today it has not only grown in this 125 sprawling acres campus into a center of excellence for badminton, center of excellence for table tennis, center of excellence for sports science and many other faculties. We are also building up here an Olympic size swimming pool, putting up a state of art gymnasium and we want to sweep it in a way that any tournament which is required not only at university level but at national and international level can be brought to this university. So I would like to first of all convey my gratitude to the staff of the university to have brought this fabulous tournament to this campus. This is a brand new turf. The running track is brand new. It has been just installed three months back. There has been just one competition here. So all the athletes which have come from all over the country will feel the kind of a track which they will get in any international competition. So I once again welcome all of you. Like many other states, Tamil Nadu is also doing its very best to support sports, to promote sports and to excel in sports. Our Chief Minister has started a program called CM Trophy which brings in as many as 5 lakh to 6 lakh sports persons from various districts to the state arena, district arena, regional arena and later the best of them can be sent for bringing laurels at the national level and international level. We are already a center of gravity for squash, for tennis, for volleyball, for athletics. We did a fabulous chess Olympiad. We are trying to build Olympic academies. We are bringing up foreign coaches. Honorable Minister, who is himself a sports enthusiast, is ensuring 3% of quota in the government services to sports persons, 10% in the uniform services. So we are trying to come out with a credible to grave policy for sports persons. And sports is anyway a very challenging field, a very appropriate field for young people to gather teammanship, perseverance, courage, confidence. All these things are associated with sports. 
And the latest World Bank report says that in European Union, one out of 37 jobs are now being created in sports related fields. In India, where 62% people want to play sport, the actual number of people who are playing sport is less than 1%, which is tremendously low. I was surprised today that many of the universities had sent only two or three people for this sports meet, which is going to prepare a sports person for the world university meet. So I request the university administrations to give more promotion, to more encourage to our sports people so that more people participate in such meets. Anyway, we are having 2,000 athletes today who are going to compete for various events. Events of throws, events of jumps, events of track and field. I wish you all the best and I wish your stay in Chennai will be very meaningful and full of laurels. I hereby declare the 82nd All India Inter University Athletic Championship 2022-2023 open. Thank you very much sir for declaring the May to open.